Hello, I'm Atubo George. Now listen, I'm sharing with you on a subject called fear not. Don't let the fear around get into you. It is wrong for you to do that. This is the time for you to seek the Lord and know his mind. You know, that's what I've been sharing with you, assessing the knowledge of, of the word of God. You know, God told us from the beginning of this year, he said, this year, dwell on the teachings of the knowledge of God. You know why? Because the people who know God shall be strong and they will do exploits. So I implore you to go get all the messages we've been talking about. All, all what I've been sharing is from January till now. Go get it and, and begin to listen to it and listen to it. Listen, because the Spirit of God told us in this season, courage is required of you. Now, why courage? Is it because it's God works with people of courage? Now, remember that God told Joshua after, the death of Mo, after Moses left. God said, look, this is what I need from you. Fear not and be very courageous. Now, that is your own part. You see, it's not God's part to be courageous. God is going to give you all the resources, but you are the one that have to rise in courage and do what the Lord wants you to do. You know, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, when Nebuchadnezzar built that, that statue, and said everybody should bow. Now, the Bible didn't say God specially spoke to them and told them not to bow. No. They chose not to bow because of what they knew. See, the people who know their God shall be strong and they shall do exploits. What, were they against the king? No, they were not against the king. But the king was making a big error. The king was making a big mistake. And that's what happens sometimes. See, sometimes government makes certain laws. And they make those laws out of fear. They make those laws because of the information that is available to them. But listen, just like Isaiah shouted, who shall believe our reports? There is always another report. See, and that's the report you will follow. And what's that report? The report of the Lord. So in this season that darkness is covering the whole earth, everyone is looking for light. And what the scripture said, the Lord will arise on you. Now, in, 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 in the book of Numbers, Moses, they were in the, the children of Israel with Moses, they were in the wilderness. And then they sinned against God. See, the people sinned against God. And the Bible said God sent fairy serpents. And the serpents was biting those people. And I shared that with you last week, Monday. And then, when they cried to the Lord, now, there was so much darkness in that place because everybody that was beaten, they started dying. Now, when they cried to the Lord, the Lord rose on Moses and told Moses what to do. Now, I want you to understand something here. The things that God will tell you to do many times may just not make sense. I'll explain to you. Serpents were biting people, real bites. And they were dying because of the venom of the serpent. And God said to Moses, Moses, you know what you're going to do? He said, all right, Lord, I'm listening. He said, you will build me a serpent of brass. Notice, you walk it, build it, mold, melt brass, get into the shape of a serpent, and then put it on his pole and hang it up there. And God said, listen, listen. Everyone who looks, who is beaten by the serpent and looks at the serpent of brass will not die. Now, medically, does that make sense? Um, whatever means you want to measure that, it doesn't make sense. It would have been easy for God to say, hey, Moses, I've heard your cry. I'm sending back those serpents. They won't bite you anymore. That would have made more sense. It would have made sense for God to say, look, anybody that looks at this serpent of brass will not be beaten by the serpent. Maybe brass has something in it that scares off, you know, just like today you can plant flowers in your compound and, and, and reptiles and, and certain insects will not come close. See, you would think maybe that's the wisdom God was bringing out from that. You no, know, sir. God's wisdom, that's why the Bible says he chooses the foolish things of the world to confound the wise. 
That's who he is. He is God. Praise God. Now, I want to just imagine when Moses built that serpent of brass and kept it. I imagine the medical doctors trying to reason it out. I mean, what, what, what do you mean? You know, we were trying to treat these people that were beaten by the serpent and you're saying they should just look at the serpent of brass and they will leave? What are you talking about? Hey, but that was God's wisdom. The people who decide, please, Moses, this thing doesn't make sense. I'm not looking at anything. They died. But the ones who simply believe. Now, why do you believe? You believe because it is God that said it. Listen, that's what I told you. I said, listen, this time is a time to listen to the voice of God. Listen to what the Lord is saying concerning your family. Get your family together. Now, that, that's, this is what you do. Get your family together and declare God's protection over every one of you. See? That this coronavirus will not come close to your door or will not come close to any member of your family. And you go before the Lord and say, Lord, I am open to you for every instruction you will give me in this season concerning what to do. And when the Lord tells you what to do, see, the Lord can tell you, look, get your family together and break bread. See? You say, how does that, how does that, hey, 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 it's the wisdom of God. God can tell you, look, anoint your doorposts and, and your gates. Obey him. Praise God. Don't start reasoning out there, but, but if we anoint our door, and what if we go out? That's never your business. Your business is, Lord, thank you for your word that have come. I will obey you, and then you obey him. Praise God. Just like in, in Egypt, God told the children of you, look, Anoint your doorposts with blood. Kill an animal. Take the blood and anoint your doorposts. When that death angel is passing, when he sees the blood, he will cross over your house. Did that make sense? But the question is, those who obeyed, did they have any casualty? The answer is no. So don't start reasoning out, you know, all, all, you know this, this generation is a generation that have too much wisdom, but too much foolishness. You see, someone say, oh, I, I'm praying. And they say, look, this is not time for prayer. This is time for action. What action will you take without the instruction of the Lord? And then you pray to receive instruction from the Lord. So this is when prayer is needed the most. Get your family together. Pray and, and confess your faults before the Lord. Because the truth is, this is as a result of sin and iniquity. I'm telling you the truth. But I've got to stop here today. Praise God. I'm going to continue tomorrow. Praise God. Fear not. The Lord's hand of protection is over your life and over your home. In Jesus' name, amen.